Welcome back to the third episode of VTOL VR. We are going to get into some combat. I'm probably going to have to add my own music to it. Let's turn up the uh, volume a little bit here. That's a little loud. Okay. Select pilot, access denied. Fortunately, this is the only aircraft we have. I would love to fly that because I assume that's the other jets that are in the game. Island campaign, we've already done this one. Now we're going to get into basic combat. We're going to fight the drones uh, that are in the air, and we're also going to fight drone ships. This one's not quite so difficult. Uh, as you can see, I completed this. This one says I completed it. Did I? I don't think I did. No, I guess I did. This is the one that I <laughs> just keep getting screwed on. But, anyway, basic combat. Let's do it. Same thing here. I'll give you three seconds to pause and read this. Or each screen. Alright, so. This is the configure going to detach everything here real quick so you can see it all. Okay, so there's our plane, right? And it shows you what you want to equip and where you want to equip it. So first things first, we only have one option for our gun. So it has an 800 ammo count, weighs 863 kilograms, and costs 1,000. This is our budget, okay? You can see we've already spent 3,750. That's because of fuel. So definitely want a full tank of gas. So we'll go ahead and we will equip this. So awesome. Go back. Now we have several different options here. What I'm gonna do is kind of showcase what I can right now instead of doing what I wanna do. I'm, you have the Hydra 70 times seven rocket. You have a seven count. You have a 16 count. So, obviously, I want the 16 count because I want more. But the more you have, the more you get weighed down. Now, how that exactly affects you, I haven't quite figured that out yet. So, we'll go ahead and equip those. Go back here. Now, on the other outer wing, typically I'd go with the same Hydra just because I like everything to be even. But, for the sake of showcasing, I'm going to switch over to the MK-82s. MK-82s, I want a three count, that's the max. And we'll go ahead and equip those. As you can see, those are bombs you just drop on somebody's head. The Hydras are a missile that does not lock on to a target. They're not, I guess, heat seekers, but they go where you point them. We'll go back here and then here on the inner portion of the wings, we're gonna go with the AIM 9s. The AIM 9s are heat seeking. They lock onto a target, they go and they will follow your ass. A three count there. And the AIM 9s, three count, equip. Beautiful. Okay, we're set. We are good to go. Let's launch this. Hang on, let me get center in my room here. Center, launch. Let's do this. <laughs> Jump right into it. Meet up with the fighter escort wing before heading out to the strike waypoint. Good luck out there. Command out. Those are down. I'll do regular takeoff. The 
combat in this is not quite clear. I mean, it's sort of obvious you point, aim, so on and so forth. I'll give a brief description of all the stuff here in a second. Or to the best of my ability, I'm by no means good at this. After the runway here. The hull, I believe that's health. So what we're going to do, or what I'll do here is, uh, uh, do you want to stop? All right, you come in here, go to equip. It shows everything you have. These are your guns, these are your aim nines, these are the bombs, and the hydras. You're in configure mode, arming mode, jettison mode, and these right here, you can jettison these. Don't want to do that though. No, go back, sorry. Arming mode? Arm those. Okay. So, jettison means to drop. So, configuration. I want to, I'm in config mode, so I want to config my uh, sidewinders here, my aim nines. You see caged? That's the box that you see ahead of you. Uh, you'd have to steer the plane in order to line it up. What I like is uncaged. They're, well, it's supposed to be a circle. The uncaged, well, you know what? I could arm my stuff. Sorry. You see no arm? Now these are armed. I'm ready to go. So, caged, uncaged. Why is it not doing? Maybe you have to be in the air. All right, we'll go to the air. We'll take off and I'll show you. There it is. Landing gear. So, navigation, autopilot. All right, so, you come back, you go into configure mode. The aim nines, you have the caged, oops, which it's right there in front of you, okay? You, you'd have to steer the plane and get the circle right on, right on top of the target. You have to steer on there. The uncaged version of it, Is it not showing it? That's odd. This is good to wait. I have no idea. Leave the way to the area. Sorry, this is not cooperating. Oh, it's because I'm on the MK2, MK82s. Okay, aim nine, right there. That's what I was looking for. Caged, which means I'll have to steer with the joystick and get whatever I want in that circle. Uncaged, it'll scan the area around that box. Vertical scan, you can see it just scans within a certain amount of meters in a vertical, uh, vertical scan. Then you have head track. That's pretty self-explanatory. Wherever you look, it's wherever it goes. I like uncaged. Uh, the hydras, you have single, 
Ripple 400, Ripple 800, and 1600, and that's the amount of missiles it'll shoot with one squeeze of the trigger. I like to go single on that. All right, so get into some combat here. MK-82s. Let me get some more distance. Alright, so you see that reticle down there? That's where the bomb is going to go. So the idea is to get above what you want. Alright, missiles. Is that coming at me? No. Aim 9. One of the planes. And fire! fire! Got one. Got two. I can get that too. Alright. We come over here. Fire! And we're going to swing back around for one of the boats. So that was a brief look at the combat. It wasn't too terribly intense. The next one will be though. The next one I get, no, not the next one. I think the one, the last one, I get shot down every freaking time. And I'm not quite sure why. I know at first I wasn't using any flares. And the flares are this button right here. So there's that. 
and it would be nice if he would put some sort of combat tutorial in this thing because there's a real lack of a tutorial you just gotta kind of get in and do it We're going to do a regular landing. So I'm going to give myself enough room to line up with the, with the landing strip. Probably giving myself a little too much room to do that, but I need a lot of practice with it. I'm not, not quite good enough to, to nail it just yet. Turn to airbase. Autopilot off. I'm keeping that that reticle at the bottom. I'm trying to keep that level so I don't get too high up. That was my problem last time I played without recording was got a little too high had to go from a vertical to a horizontal landing I get usually get too impatient I start doing that and do these really hard turns and I don't really need to be doing those need to learn to be a little bit more patient. All right, let's slow it down a bit. Landing gear. Landing gear. Nice and easy. Alright, oh, easy does it. And back to the middle there. Alright, that's where I want to be. Down a little bit. Nope, nope, nope. Slowing it down. Alright, looking pretty smooth. Pull back a little bit. Easy. Ooh, that was a little hard. I probably nicked the paint. All right, mission accomplished, boys and girls. Did it. Okay. Damn it, why do I keep. Aha! Stop. Alright, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.